Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm reviewing another low budget obscured film titled Scream in the Night. So yeah, this is definitely going to be one of those like detective kind of movies I want to review. Yeah, the, that's the thing, it's on my to-do list, obviously. So, this is a film where, as I was just talking about the genre, I feel like I don't talk about this genre enough, really, even though it is one of my favorite genres in film. And since I have a ton of films to review anyway, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to do so. What? I thought, I actually thought that was a better film than that. It, is a, it deserves at least a better than that what they're given. Come on now, just because it's cheaply made doesn't mean it is necessarily a bad movie, folks. Come on now. Yep. Yeah, sorry, I'm talking about this movie. What, what time is it? Ah, it's like 1 in the morning. I don't, I'm talking about this. Oh well. It's alright though, I don't mind it. Yes, sorry. Anyway, on with the video. Yeah, I don't care what time it is, I guess. Because I'm a secret agent and I never sleep. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing for me. Anywho, yeah, I guess I have to talk about this film because I really felt that I don't talk about this kind of genre as often as I could. Well, anyway, let's just talk about the damn plot like I will always do. So, let's dig right in, shall we? So, here we go. So the overall story just centered around it, this police detective in this eastern seaport whom seeks this stolen gym. And um, he basically infiltrates this underworld by posing as a look like a bar owner. So let's just say certain things will occur. And it does get pretty crazy as it continues, of course, folks, because of the fact that things become pretty interesting. So, I can say that uh, this is pretty much, I feel like this film does center around the whole idea that the detective must do what he felt is right. The film itself is barely under an hour, which is fine because the, the film is really brisk pace, so it doesn't bother me that much. I do like the idea that this film is about the search for this notorious Jew thief named Johnny. And you know, the main character, this detective guy, he pretty much is on a search. And we get to see that there was another character named Joe who buys this ruby known as the Tear of Buddha. Later, he goes to the hotel with his niece. She spots her. Her old pal Jack sitting with the with certain character and whatnot. So overall, I can say, yes, it's cheaply made, of course. And I did like the outfits. I did like the wardrobe that actors and actors wore. So this was a pleasant little film in some ways. So I can't come kind of complain too much. Yes, definitely, folks. This is one of those really old school crime drama detective kind of movie but that's fine by me and also yes it's rather an uh, obscured film but that's kind of as to that's a good, a good chunk of the reasons to why i want to review this because not a uh, hardly a lot of people talk about these kinds of movies uh movies from the past or whatever i know lots of people much rather talk about more uh, up-to-date movies really but for me, I like digging into the past and find these these little gems. Yes, sir. It's part of my job. So, of course, I'm going to do it. Of course. So, I'm going to find whichever way, just dig through any tunnel or whatever. Go high, go low. Just find these rare movies so I can review them. Because I actually like reviewing these movies. I really do. And. You know, it's on my, it's on my to-do list anyway. I got a bunch of movies to review. See, folks, got a bunch of stuff to review for my to-do list right here. Yep. 
a lot of stuff, but it's alright though. I don't mind doing that, of course. So, I just figured we'd talk about this because I actually thought this was a pretty good movie overall, despite the fact that it was cheaply made. In some ways, yeah, you can tell. It was, you know, didn't have to, didn't exactly have the biggest budget in the world, but again, I don't mind it. I usually review these cheap, low budget features anyway. I usually do that as it is. So, was one more. I know I still have a truck ton. Like I was saying, I still have a truck ton of these to get through anyway. So it's fine by me. And, yeah, like I said, I, I like this one. I thought the acting was solid. Solid. I like the premise. And, they sure they surely don't make them that you used to. They really don't make these films like they used to, like at all. And I do miss these. I really do miss these films. I really do miss these kinds of films. I know back in the 1930s, 1940s, and 50s, there was like the golden age for like these detective type movies. So that's probably why you don't see these kinds of movies anymore. Which is a shame because. I love these actually quite enjoyable. I mean, sure, some are better than others, granted. But I've enjoyed the majority of those I've already seen. But then again, I am a top secret agent after all, so I've been around quite a while and I've seen quite a few of these movies, obviously. So, this is definitely one I will recommend. It is out on DVD, of course, on a, on a single disc. If you can find it on a single disc, that is, I'll say pick it up. So, it will get an the film, it will get an overall rating of a 6.0 out of 10. It gets a 6.0 out of 10 for me. A pretty solid film if you ask me, folks. It's a pretty solid film. As always, thanks for watching and take care. Till next time. Oh yeah.